When the milk frother is working well on my DeLonghi Perfecta, it makes a great cappuccino. But when it isn't working, well, you just get a lot of steam. I confess that to get this frother working, I needed to buy a new milk jug. But I learned quite a bit in trying to fix the old one, and that's valuable, so I thought I'd pass along what I found. I've been nursing this Perfecta along for probably seven years now. I figure if someone else has a unit of this vintage, they're probably having the same issues, so they might pick up something from a video like this. These machines have a port on the front that can deliver hot water or steam. To froth milk, it drives out steam. So how does that steam become froth milk? The designers took advantage of something called the Venturi effect. In a nutshell, the Venturi effect describes a reduction in pressure as a liquid flows through a narrowed section of pipe. This reduced pressure is also known as the Venturi vacuum, and it can be used to create a suction. In our case, it creates suction that pulls milk up a straw and also pulls in air to mix with it. I'd mentioned before this port on the front of the machine, and this is where the magic happens. This is that same port just removed from the machine. Initially, steam flows in from the back side of this port. Then, due to the narrowing of the channel, you get that Venturi effect I mentioned earlier. So that Venturi vacuum then uh, sucks the milk up the straw and also pulls in air to mix with it. So that, along with a couple of other tricks, then gets you the frothed milk. And because the milk was being mixed with steam, it gets warmed up in the process. But here are the, all the components in that milk jug, and you say, wait, this looks way more complicated than that. Well, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, so first, let's just talk about how to get it apart. The top twists off with just a fraction of a twist, and then the straw pops out, and this part, which is the kind of the frother nozzle, uh, also just pops out. Okay, that just leaves you with these two screws here on the bottom. And then this slider adjusts how much air is introduced, and that just also pops out. And this little button also pops off, although I don't think you need to remove it uh, to get the top off. Then the top just sort of unclicks and pulls off. The uh, straw gets inserted here. That's where the milk goes. The milk then go follows that path up. And here's where the steam comes in. And then here's where that frothing nozzle gets inserted. So that's the path that the steam takes to come out. So here's where it looks like the uh, air gets uh, in. And you'll see here that that slider that I pointed to earlier uh, sort of opens and closes that port, which allows more or less air to get into the milk. But you can also see here, there's another kind of appendage to that slider that uh, sort of blocks the path of the milk. And my guess is, is that it, uh, it sort of distributes uh, the path of the milk. It sort of breaks it up so that it's easier to froth. I'm not sure about that. This last piece is the cleaning button. And you can see as you press the button, it pushes this rod and that pushes into the machine and hits a switch. And that switch uh, then drives steam out through the port but since this is the cleaning cycle, you don't want it to pull milk out, so you have to break the suction. And you can see here that when that gets pushed out, it opens up that path that comes up from the straw. Just one more detail. This little rubber piece here then is a seal that uh, allows for that air path. The slider goes through it horizontally, but you can see on the bottom uh, there's another port, and that's what allows the air to go down into that path that the steam is taking to uh, get out to the nozzle. And then the last couple of disassembly bits, uh, this cleaner uh, arm uh, pops out. You have to pry it a little bit. It's a, it's a little awkward to get out, but it just comes out of a slot. And then you push it forward to get it out of the port that's in the front, and then it comes right out. And then to remove this last piece, there are just a couple of screws. One's real obvious, and the other one's tucked underneath a bit. And then with those screws removed, this piece pops out. It's a little sticky because there's a, a kind of a rubber grommet underneath, but it, it just pops out. I found this kind of interesting. This is the back side of that cleaning port, and it's really uh, badly damaged. I think steam was blowing back and eventually just deteriorating the plastic. And then one last piece. This is that rubber grommet I was talking about. This is what seals to the straw.
One more uh, just description is uh, this. Here's that port that I mentioned earlier, and you can see here this is the hole that's on the bottom, and that's what provides the the path for the suction for the milk and for the air. I hope this helps somebody out. Uh, I think mine just uh, got too old and the, the plastic broke down, so I needed to get a new one. But uh, I hope this uh, explanation helps somebody out there fix their old one.